Hello and welcome again. I'm Kukwana Elza. Today I've got my best friend, Joanna Maimel. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you, my friend. Thank At you. this era, as we grow, we need to be cautious of our health, right? In a, I say Google Mus. <laughs> better life to begin better uh, life begins at 60 my friend. yes so those that are beginning life at 60 they should be very very cautious that's what the doctor says it's like we're the one expected to die first <laughs> so my friends for whatever we talk maybe it might help others out there and then let's advise each other how to look after our health now that we are approaching our age. <laughs> life begins at 60. Okay, life begins at 60. So when do you think we should start? Healthy eating should be an everyday thing. You know, like when we grew up, our mom would, uh, would cook some vegetables. But as children, you know, not every child likes vegetables, but the parents know when we should start eating healthy. The, the body needs uh, nutrients uh, and uh, good nutrients. We mm. didn't be eating for quantity, we could be eating for quality. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, but, but at time, sorry, that is, but at time we, we don't afford, not all of us afford to eat uh, that uh, quality of food, but we should try and eat as, uh, as much as we can uh, quality wise. Because we can just eat pap and then morocco or spinach. He's got uh, some oil in there. He's got a bit of uh, uh, peanuts in there. It's healthy. Anyway, when we are still young, we need that starch and everything for our energy because we're still run, running around, you know. But when we are older, we, we, should, we still need that energy as well, isn't it? Yeah, we do. Mm. But then as we grow, because our bodies are becoming like some hormones <laughs> are gone. Menopause. <laughs> oh, not necessarily menopause. Come on. I mean, those hormones that make us beautiful, even men, you know. So some of those hormones are gone. But I understand we need to eat high protein diet because our muscles are weaker and it will boost our immune system. Isn't it that what they say? They say Corona keep uh, take us because our immune system is... <laughs> so we need to be strong. So we need to eat high protein diet. Do you like water? Uh, not really. Uh, you know, <laughs> with age, you know, our bladder are getting a bit weaker as we age. Mm. So I understand why uh, older people don't like drinking. But you can drink water, any fluids, just uh, between a certain time, maybe until uh, four or six fish in bed and just sip sip. Because one, I for one, we are afraid to go to the toilet at night. Mm -hmm. And it, it, uh, it will keep you awake easy and getting uh, tired of getting up getting tired of not sleeping well because if you go to toilet you come you sleep 30 minutes you want to go back and so that's how we end up having chambers and then yeah home. yeah i think most of our trouble comes during the night <laughs> that is why they say even when we eat you know as we're saying we should eat a bit earlier maybe after six we shouldn't uh, eat it and or a special diet that will mix. You know, we like drinking tea and bread, right? Yeah. Tea and bread together, they become so easy to come out to when you have got reflux. So things like that, when you eat late in the evening after six, you rather either drink only, don't mix with bread or something solid. They say it's not great. And I used to have these reflexes there where I wake up during the night choking. So I noticed that since I learned that I shouldn't eat like that, there was a very great improvement. So let's practice to eat early. And then after that, we can just like sips 
then we'll sleep well. Hmm. Yeah. So I can add another thing again. You know, fiber. <clears throat> Mm. We need to try and eat a diet with fiber so we don't have uh, constipation. Fiber diet, uh, drinking with water, it will help us to soften our stools. stools. Yeah. yeah, if you're constipated, it's a big issue. Mm. So, talking about constipation, while she has there now, I think we've, we, we've spoken about diet. It comes with exercises as well, isn't it? Yeah, it does. We, we, we have to exercise. If you don't exercise, the peristalsis slows down. That is why you find those uh, skybala. You know skybala? The gold one. <laughs> yes. As you said, we should take a rough edges as well and uh, drink water. So exercise is part of it. We need them. For mental health as well, can you imagine you're constipated, you're worried, it mm -hmm. also affects the mind. So before we come to the mind, Joanna, these exercises, <laughs> let's talk a little bit. <laughs> so how do we exercise? Uh, we should go to the gym, do a little bit of gardening. We can do some walks, tennis club. If in your country you don't have those, just uh, improvise. Yeah, we should just exercise. We are on lockdown now. Mm -hmm. uh, the government is uh, advising us at least to have one hour daily of exercise, just walking to do the essential um, shopping. But waking up in the morning is an exercise as well. You walk up, go to the kitchen, do something, look at your flowers, do your little gardening. That's part of exercise mm -hmm. too. Our ability is not the same. Someone can be able to jump. I don't jump, but I can do knee exercises, sitting exercises, so many of them. And I recently seen a, one gentleman doing yoga in the chair. I didn't know you can do yoga in the chair. I always mm -hmm. think it doesn't to be on the floor, on the floor, because I can't manage the floor exercises. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If we can all learn that you can exercise wherever, even in bed, you know, just when you are sleeping, try to stretch your legs, stretch your arms, and this squeezing. You can squeeze anywhere, anyhow, isn't it? It's part of exercise. Even now that we are sitting now, I can be squeezing, squeezing down there. <laughs> it's good to squeeze it for your pelvic muscles. Yes, good. it will help us with this incontinent because the sphincters are getting loose. So you can just keep squeezing, squeezing down there. No one will see you. You mentioned mental health as well, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So... These things are interrelated. It's from one to the next, and they go together. Because every now and then, I feel when I feel so dull and lazy, and then I woke up and exercise, I just feel so refreshed, you know? And then because, you know, we are socialized as well. <clears throat> uh, let, let, let's talk about this mental health before we come to social. <laughs> You're running away. <laughs> yeah. So on mental health, to keep feeding our brains now, besides exercising, we should also read books, meditate, you know, you feel so relaxed. You were talking about laughter not long. Laughing is healthy. <laughs> well, and then let's take challenges. You know, it doesn't mean that when we are old, we can solve problems. Let's get involved with a uh, problem solving. We human beings are socialized. Our, our mental health, uh, that's why it's more because we are so isolated during mm. this lockdown. <clears throat> it, it affects our mental health as well because mm. we're not seeing people. We can be seeing people, seeing you on the screen and seeing you physically elder. It's not the same and our coping mechanism as well are not the same. Mm. So that's why you find that this uh, mental issue is happening a lot during this uh, lockdown. So I think they should uh, ease the lockdown soon so we go and socialize. <laughs> it's true, you know, Johanna. Um, it, it, that, that is why 
They say the rate of domestic violence is so high then during this lockdown thing. It's all mentally. People mm -hmm. cannot cope with one thing. It's like you're doing one thing every day. You, are, you can't see other people. That is why some people even studied that, you know, when we do visuals, like we do uh, Zooms and stuff like that, right? They say it is advisable for us to open our videos. You see some people, they like switching off their videos. We don't see who is behind the screen, right? They say that has got an impact. <clears throat> if you see me today here, at least it's like we are together. So we want to see people and we don't want to see one thing every day is boring. And if you don't see people, you get so depressed and all stuff. That is why they end up saying that old woman is staying there alone. It's a witch. You see, because you become demented. And then amnesia, all those, but Alzheimer, all those things, they come because you are just alone. You've got no one to stimulate your brain. What do you think of family and friends? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll speak about love. I know we, we think love is, uh, uh, you, you love everyone. Uh, as human beings, we shouldn't be making, um, what is it, enemies. You love people, you love nature. That's okay. part of oh, it. Okay. Just love each other, just be kind and talk to each other, make friends. If you don't have an extended family, like some of us, say, you, you make friends and families along the way. Wherever you work, you know, you'll be visiting each other, seeing each other, missing each other, calling mm -hmm. each other. It goes a long way. Make friends on your way, meet people, be kind to everyone. And then you should learn to forgive and forgive yourself as well, so that the people come to you. As you were talking uh, about friends and relations, I was thinking of um, relationships. Some people think when people are old, they can't uh, fall in love. You know, all of those things, it helps our mental status, you know. This thing of people getting divorced at the age of 80, 70, is hard. If it was possible, we will try hard not to fall into that trap, you know. So it's not time for enemies having grudges with people because all these end up with high blood pressures, depressions and all stuff like that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because it, it, you know that feeling of guilt, <clears throat> it makes you suffer inside and you suffer in silence. Like you said, you forgive. Then if you, you have forgiven, you, you got a bit of a relief in there or the total relief to say, okay, I've forgiven someone. So what do you think about safety? If you fall, you are breaking. We are like babies again. <laughs> it's such a blessing to be old, you know. <laughs> it, it is a blessing. Mm. So you, you're talking about safety. Yeah, we need to try and be it's normal. Yeah, those who can afford to wear heels, mm -hmm. but then be careful of what type of heels you wear. Uh, the shoes, everyone has a different taste of shoes. But then try wearing if you are indoors, you know, these are our clothes, and so we are prone to falls now, prone mm -hmm. to breaking, prone mm -hmm. to sleeps. You sleep, mm -hmm. you end up on the floor, you, you sleep is a mere fall. So we don't need that in this age. It might happen, but we need, should try and try and stay safe. When you wear proper shoes, uh, proper foot care, and then those uh, non-slip socks, they're very good when you are indoors. Just wear them because one carpet from this our floors, it's easy to sleep, like I said. So mm -hmm. if we invest in those ones, they're just one pound in a premium. But when in the kitchen, 
time, make sure when you put the kettle, it says boiled. Make sure there's water inside the kettle. They make it a habit. You can't just go there, turn it on. This is our gas. It make sure you put the your fire on the lower side. So even if something burns or even if you forget to switch off the gas, it won't cause uh, too much damage like when it's on a high fire. Mm -hmm. These are our cups. Make sure you get a cup which is not that heavy, the one you can handle. You know, we like our tea at this age, tea, coffee, and so Or even if it's heavy, make a habit of not filling it up to the brim. And this is our microwave as well. After it's the microwave is bleeped, showing that okay, it's done. Open the door, give it some time to cool off before you, you take it out and it, make it a heavy bit of using and you know this uh, gloves uh, or maybe just another um, glove or so to hold the both sides so just in case of uh, the, anything you don't get a bend bends or something you don't want to uh, at this stage because you now it will take time for that to wound to heal there's so many things you can talk about when going to the bath. I don't think we should be getting more into baths if there's no one in there because one will get stuck. Two, you can bend. So if we invest in this walking and, and showers, make sure we just do more of showers than the bath. Right. Uh, because our bones, as we say, they are weaker as well. A little trap, a little sleep, you, you break, right? Some people advise a uh, downsizing so that you don't have a long way to walk. <laughs> like I want to move from up, yeah, to avoid the stairs and all stuff like that. Or otherwise, I mean, you'll have to have a lift, <laughs> you know. So if if you find, you find that your house is so big, the kitchen is that far, the bedroom is there, it's better to bring them together so that you are, it's easy to reach out, right? Again, once we are still there, I want us to talk about uh, medicines. And so many of us, we've got so many medicines. It's very important to know your medication so that you don't mix them up or take over dosage or whatever. And then some of us, sometimes when you feel you have got too much headache, <laughs> You might you find people taking double, <laughs> double of hypertensive drugs. <laughs> oh hey, I'm I am sweating a lot today. Now maybe my uh, blood pressure is high. Let me take two, or or you forgot to take in the morning. You can't remember. Uh, let me just take again. You know. I remember those uh, old ladies now they were at the gym. The other one said, oh, I forgot my high blood tablets. Can I borrow yours? <laughs> no, it's okay, my friend. You can, we can share. <laughs> you don't even know the name of all those things, you know? So we should be very careful. It's so interesting, you know? <laughs> it is interesting. Meanwhile, we are on those uh, tablet issue. You know, now the, 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 the GPs are very uh, wise now, not wise. You know, in the hospital now, I think the pharmacists, they do realize, okay, now this one, if you're always coming with overdose, now they're making one plus one, or this one doesn't manage his or her tablets. Mm -hmm. Though you find carers also help, but if, what if you don't have carers? So they came in there, they used to call it a pill box. But now they go call it a blister pack. He come in a pack and it's written Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday to Sunday. Mm. And then it's written up man, uh, morning, midday, the evening or night of the year. So it is, you know, or maybe it's, it's written AM, midday, and uh, I forget you know how to mm -hmm. So it's easier for you to so you know, okay, morning. I've taken my morning morning once, it will be empty. Mm -hmm. We just open it up or some just blister it. That's why it says a blister mm -hmm. pack. You just punch it and then all of them they will come and then you you, you take them. Mm -hmm. The problem is when you lose one, then that's it. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> 
So mm-hmm. after lunch, uh, you also take the salmon for midday yeah. and then for evening, you take them. That one is more safe, safe and uh, safety because you know, okay, I've missed that morning, midday, and evening. So it means I've taken for today, which is Saturday. Mm. Like I said, it's a problem. They didn't realize hey, what if you lose one. <laughs> But then if you're not safe, then the one yeah. yeah, we have to keep safe like that. Um, and then the last one before we say goodbye to our viewers about visiting your doctor for checkups, you know. Uh, don't wait for you, you to have a, a feeling of a headache of dizziness until you go to check your blood pressure. If they say check your blood pressure uh, regularly, you should check. If they say every month, you should go so that they check it and regulate your medicines, right? And then and uh, checking bloods. You were talking about bloods at some point, isn't it? like a regular checkups and then with women sometimes they check their breasts their pap smears you know all those little things we shouldn't ignore them uh, we, we need to ch- go for checkups check the blood levels if the doctor says i come if you don't know ask your doctor what blood should be check for me sometimes you find that they detect something that you were not aware before you could feel them sometimes those diseases they are diagnosed when it's too late you know so you might find that if you go for checkups now and then things are found and then you get treated that's right Ceci. yeah i will say okay then we should try and make it a point that every year when I hear it, just set your diary or your, a reminder to say, okay, in January, unfortunately, when lockdown, they're not uh, taking um, appointments. Or so just say it's January, you go, okay, make an appointment and tell the doctor, okay, I need a, a yearly, um, yearly checkup. They do that. You do everything. Okay, they do blast, like you said, and everything and send you for plans and some mm. other tests. Also make sure and then go to your optometrist to check your eyes, mm. your ears. You know, some of us at times say, oh, I can't hear, I can't hear my left ear, my ear. You find, okay, there's nothing wrong with the ear. Mm. Not nothing wrong. Just maybe a bit of wax is sitting down there. Even the mere teeth cleaning, we tend to neglect all those things, you know. I don't know if back home they do all this because when we grow up I never knew of all these services maybe these days things uh, have changed um, where people can go for checkups as well or you have to have a GP to do all those things now they do them it's only that uh, uh, maybe it's like someone when you go, you said I'm coming for checkup. They think maybe just uh, misusing the government services. But those with medical aid, is there? You just go for yearly tooth washing, cleaning, mm. polishing, whatever you name them. Your eyes, everything. It's like a mask over here, like how you do for your car and you do for yourself. Mm. Mm. So hey, that was interesting to learn, I think now we live healthy as we start our life at 60. <laughs> and no, 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 yeah, it will be healthy. What is that? Music, music, music. Don't forget to listen to your music, whatever ah. music you like. That's my one. Uh, it says Moonlight Serenade. It's just uh, one of my favorite, easy listening. It's not interesting. Any music is good for you. Any music. <laughs> oh, thank you, Johanna. Music is good. Yes, it's good for meditation, stable mind, even to take you to sleep with music is great, you know. So thank you so much, viewers out there, for watching us. 
join us again in the next few weeks for the next chat and you can share with us your topics if you want to and this platform is free for everyone to join if you like this type of talks subscribe to this channel it's free just press the button down there and the bell so that each time a new video comes on you are the first to know bye for now and stay blessed thank you my friend Johanna I hope you okay with you thank you